Hello, and in today's video we're going to be returning to Conan, the board game by Monolith, and also talking a bit about other Conan-related items. So let's get the shrink wrap open on the Book of Set. Well, now we've got the book out of the shrink wrap, as you can see on the back we've got a lovely sorcerer here, looking suitably demonic and horrible, the cult of Set itself, and then obviously on the front cover, a damsel in distress offered up as sacrifice to some Cthulhu-esque beastie. So anyway, if we open up the book, we've got a nice table of contents showing you um, scenarios for two, three, four and five players. And then we've got a nice little bit of extra fluff at the back with um, artwork and so on. So we've got Yara's Trap, The White Witch, Sedition, The Price of Success, the Cursed Mirrors, Where the Thunder Rumbles, Damned Resurrection, The Terrible Lovers, A Lion Among Panthers, Last Ditch Invocation, For the Blood of a Barbarian, Death from the North, and it's quite a lot for that one, Conspiracy in Karun, Yoga's Rebirth, A Dragon on the Marches, an Ape, Several Kegs and a Girl, lovely title that, The Zimbula Strangler, and Sacrificial Heroes, quite a few pages for that one, The Curse of the Shapeshifter, The Iron Hand, with a nice picture of some hyenas there, and then the really interesting bit, uh, we've got Conan on the Tree of Woe here, um, without much clothing on by the looks of it. Uh, then you've got Conan himself, so we've got a couple of painted miniatures and some artwork. So we've got Conan the Barbarian, the Mercenary and the Wanderer. We've also got the Warlord, looking really good there. We've then got Conan and Belit, and there's some lovely artwork which uh, is Brom. Yes, it is Brom. His style is quite recognisable, fantastic. Then we've got uh, Nagora, Belit's Guard. Uh, was it Shavatus, Hadrathus, uh, Valeria, Taurus, Zelta and a Wolf, Palantides with his uh, Dragon Guard. The Dragon Miniature, which sadly I haven't been able to pick up. I'm hoping the rumoured Kickstarter will enable me to get hold of that. Yoga of Yag, a Princess, Skulthus, the Pix in various formats. Some really nice miniature painting going on here. Uh, the Ghost Snake, that looks really nice actually, I do like that. The Child of Jebel Sag, which I'm not sure if I've got that one or not. Uh, the Demons, again, not sure if I've got that one or not. The Black Strangler, have I got that one? Not sure. Uh, Forest Demon, Demon of the Earth, definitely got that one. And then Thog, Kostrokel and Thak. Then the black ones and Bel Peto. Now some of these miniatures, I'm not sure if they're ones that I haven't picked up or I've got and just forgotten about. Uh, I know, for example, I've got the Kushites and yeah, some really nice guys. The Thoth I'm on, looking fabulous here. Really, really nice mini. And then the uh, Kitai, the kind of uh, Japanese type figures, Nordheim. And then a lovely bit of artwork on the back. So a nice little book, um, not really required because most of the adventures in this book you can actually download for free off the Monolith website. But it's nice to get them all in a proper printout and have some nice artwork. And overall, definitely worth picking up if you're an absolute Conan Monolith fan. Now, if you're not so keen on um, the way Monolith's going, because they're sort of doing Kickstarter only, uh, you might be interested in still getting to play Conan, but in a different setting. So to help you with that, you might want to pick up some extras like I did. So, for example, the centenary edition of the Complete Chronicles of Conan. This rather massive tome, which as you can see is way thicker than the book of set, is absolutely fabulous. It's got a nice little map on it. And then a load of introductory stuff telling you all about his work and then acknowledgements and so on and so forth and it goes on and on and on all sorts of wonderful stories now I don't think it's literally every single Conan story but it's I think every single Conan story as told by Robert E. Howard and it's 
what is that, 925 pages of Conan goodness. So really, really useful, particularly if you decide to get into the role-playing game. So I managed to pick up the free RPG quick start adventure um, for the new 2D20 system, which uh, you might be aware of because I've just done a review of uh, Star Trek Adventures for it. So it's really cool. Um, you can get free um, PDFs for... Uh, the character sheets and you can use these wonderful play mats. Now I'm waiting for the official ones to come but I've uh, been sent um, as part of that Kickstarter arrangement uh, some PDFs to print and you'll notice they are the sort of tiles that you could also use with Conan the board game so it's really cool that you can do the role-playing game or the monolith board game and really nice to see them hooking up the two systems like that so expect more about the Conan RPG. And in case you're wondering what all that noise in the background is, that's me actually printing out things for the Star Trek version of 2D20. So I've got some little Star Trek-y flavoured tokens for momentum. And also I've printed off a load of challenge dice, which uh, have the special challenge symbol, the single hit, the double hit, and obviously the blank faces. These are about 12 mil dice. They've got decent weight. They're a little bit light, but um, they work great. And it will supplement my official dice set. Um, so uh, I've got plenty of dice to roll. And uh, I'm really looking forward to getting some 2D20 games going. So anyway, a nice quick little update about Conan. Hopefully you enjoyed a quick look at the book of set. Um, I'm hoping to bring you more Conan content, as I say, with both the 2D20 role-playing game. And in the future, hopefully when Monolith do another Kickstarter, I'll be able to pick up the few boxes that I wasn't able to grab the first time round and also anything new they're coming out with because I really do enjoy the Conan board game. In fact I was thinking of doing uh, a role playing game based off Monolith's board game but uh, I'm going to check out the 2D20 system because uh, there's lots to admire with it and it's definitely a work of uh, art and, and with some pretty cool mechanics as well. So uh, expect, as I say, more Conan in particular with the 2D20 system first of all, but hopefully returning to Monolith at a later date if I manage to grab hold of the, the new stuff and the stuff I've missed out on. Anyway, that's all for now, and uh, I just need to go check how my 3D printer's doing at printing off some more tokens for my Star Trek Adventures session. <laughs>